turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. To increase their lifespan, we would suggest never touching the glass with your fingers or cleaning them carefully with paper towels before putting them back. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. To access the light bulbs, you have to remove the headlight housing. With a medium-sized flathead screwdriver, Press down on the plastic tab of the power connector to the headlight housing. This will free it from the holding spur and you will be able to disconnect it. With the same screwdriver, remove the plastic holding rivet from the grill by levering it off. Then continue its removal by unscrewing the two holding screws for the front lights. The wing side screw can be removed with a flathead screwdriver and the grill side screw with the Phillips screwdriver. To remove the light, unclip it first by pulling upwards. Then tilt it forwards and simultaneously pull it back to extract it. To remove the headlight bulbs, unscrew the rubber cover. Pull on the connector. This will let you extract the whole thing. Replace the bulb. Then reclip it in its holder. Put the rubber cover back on. To replace the high beam bulbs, turn the light around. Unscrew the cover. Unplug the power connector that holds the bulb in place. Then remove the bulb. Insert the new bulb in its housing, positioning correctly using the flat hole, which works as a key connection. Reconnect the connector holding the bulb. Put the cover back on. To replace the indicator light, make a quarter turn anti-clockwise by holding the grey tab. Then lever with a flathead screwdriver to remove the whole thing. To remove the bulb, press on it and make a quarter turn. Do the same but in reverse when putting the new bulb back in. To replace the indicator lights, give it a quarter turn anti-clockwise by holding the grey tab. Then lever using a flathead screwdriver to remove the whole thing. Put the light back in place, tilting it forwards. Insert the grill side point first and finish by pushing the back of the light down into its housing. Screw the two holding screws back in. Put the grill side holding rivet on the light.
Then reconnect the power connector. Operation completed.